What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. I waited till Konami finished their stream to press record, and I'm glad I did because the Mimigul dungeons are flying off the shelf versus the announcement reveals. Let me know how you feel about the new support, but the money is definitely speaking to the market as we click the sales rates on the field spell, and it's not like it's skyrocketed in price quite yet, but it is going as of recording. Check this out. One entire page, two entire pages, and some change to almost three entire pages where, here, let's highlight all of the sales yesterday. It seems like Konami's announcement video definitely has generated a lot of interest into this, and we've already covered that it was bumping up in price a little bit as people go, oh yeah, they're gonna support this again, it will be getting a second wave, and to everybody surprised it seemed like more cards for the archetype than people thought would be happening. Even the quarter century secret rare is moving a good amount, although it's only bumped up a couple of dollars at the recording of this video towards $45, but look at all of these sales on Quarter Century Secret Rare versus dwarfing actually the rest of the months of sales on this specific card. So a single day announcement really did do it for the field spell. The rest of the deck seems readily available though as of recording and it seems like you can get it quite easily right now. The OCG had their list and everybody's talking about maxi to two and all the old arguments but the vendors they went for Master Peace, who was freed off the list. Often we do see things from the OCG list transfer to Master Duel and ours, unless it's egregious and it wrecks things, right? So Master Peace only has one printing, so we would hope if it comes off the list that, hey, maybe they reprint, but they can be very slow with reprints, right, Arch Nemesis? But that point aside, look at all of these sales. Again, an entire full page and then some change here going up from just around uh, even sales at $30 for first edition to where it's past that. One first edition has sold for $37 today with other people who had started to let go and list from it not being off the last list here. Tons of them. And you can see now the unlimbs are towards 30 and the first edition appears. There is 15 listings at 37. This actually wasn't here just a bit ago. So that's interesting and a bit of a wall. And then the next first editions are 50. That's how to sell your stock. You're like, mm, I see that's going. Let me put these here and see what people are going to do about it. Dryden's not moving all that much. Uh, I guess people are more skeptical about it coming off of our list, but the OG secret rare does have a rival in the Megaton secret rare because they used to be exact same rarities a misprints this year right but you can see very very few sales on this card and there is that super easy access gold although with the thickness of maximum gold i would remind you to be double sleeping that extra deck quick self shout out i will be comparing every single quarter century secret rare and prismatic secret rare from the eu to us foiling tomorrow so not your typical video from the channel i do this every once in a while thank you to gamers choice as well as tier zero for providing the cards. Tier Zero is letting me keep theirs instead of internationally shipping back, where I do have to give Gamers Choice back their cards. But I would not have the comparison without either of them. And here you can see the darker one is EU versus the US version. And I already have people DMing me from like the EU, like the US looks so good, where most US people are like, this looks so good. So I do think it is completely subjective on those kinds of singles. That being said, Let's talk what happened with prices over the weekend, because I've been ranting and raving on Twitter, but a lot of you all obviously aren't going to be keeping up on every social, and you're here for the card prices. SP Little Knight, $55, but look at this. The sealed's not going up. It's because the sealed's not worth cracking. Now, a lot of vendors will sit down throughout the week, get listing Tuesday and Wednesday if they are cracking the product, but the ratios are so bad that it's still estimated value pulled. Not the greatest thing to be opening this unless the clumping is hitting right. Ruxin was talking about, I think, 12 cases without a single triple tactics thrust. That is mental to me, and it's not actually absurd 
number wise because it's about one in every four cases then the blue eyes quarter century secret rare has been going up it looks great you have that blue eyes structure on the horizon it's going up faster than i thought it would but i did point out hey that could mingle with the tens a bit bonfire secret rare also just super low listings and that's going to happen even with the lower end of the tens a lot of people buying out those cards quarter century secret rare dark magician girl is one of the few on this page lower than pre-sales which reminds me where is the pre-sale is scams crowd with this one it's more like the tens might be deserving of that word huh but yeah look at this uh primera low on quantities up in price ground xeno going low on quantities up in price people targeted regeki alter art here going up in price it is so easy to make the quantities disappear right now because people don't want to open these and people are selling these at like barely making anything in person i'm hearing like 15 dollars a 10 if you're buying a case from some shops in person versus here i've already covered the math that versus platform fees and shipping some of these sellers are actually losing just a little bit to be selling these cases but the prices of cards are going up maybe that will eventually hit estimated value pulled to some degree while other things like diabelsar already have their reprint on the horizon and people are thinking about bonanza causing them to stay away from some of these cards while other people are grabbing them figuring if it misses bonanza well this is the cheapest it's going to be for a long time also the misprints on gamer's choice went down in price after people's feedbacks and with that sp little knight misprint sold out under the price of the main one i do have to give it to gamer's choice for always sticking to their deals and it looks like triple tactics thrust is almost the same price as the other one and then the Raigeki did sell out the harpies has a few left you can use code what's good five for five percent off and support the channel directly making these even cheaper but if you get into the ones where people were really complaining about the prices versus ones i thought were fair here's wingman down to 30 from 50 for a hero misprint that's pretty cool and then you also have time tearing morganite at 20 some people were hoping for this exact price so that's kind of cool and i think the mechanco stuff went down towards 15s there's quim down to 20 and here is the yeah this at 15 my thoughts are if it originally debuted an OG secret, it's not as desirable of a misprint necessarily, though. I think cards that debuted in the 10 are probably some of the number one things to think about with these misprints, slash arts in the 10 that get specialized thanks to that secret rare. And the Dark Magician Girl is in the lead. She's a top three collectible card. So I do think Gamer's Choice was very strong in how they listed a lot of their misprints and then were able to immediately re adjust on feedback and never stop being loud i always put y'all first like i did in the last video i also put y'all first when i post and this is why you should keep up with other socials i could have clicked checkout and i'm like i am not vendor man i'm market man i'm gonna get my personal copy for my collection and yeah somebody immediately did cancel one of them so i was right to do the two orders because i figured but i was like Posting this, I think, 30 minutes after the limbs were already out and people weren't buying. Now, the Exodia head, I predicted it would settle around 12, is selling for 17 plus dollars and was a low of 18 last night with actual sales there to where it impacted the graph. People want to complete their set. And as I pointed out, this is one of the typical sets that best sell on Amazon and other platforms and people will want to be grabbing long term. But with how expensive it's got, it's going to price out volume. So I, I still think it could come back down a little towards 15, maybe even 12 eventually. But the people want to complete their set right now now ultimate slayers being talked about tech wise joshua schmidt put it in strong in main deck category as an overhyped history but i do agree it's a pretty good board breaker especially pairing with something like droplet and you have a ton of options for this card in particular so the quarter century secret rare is on like full buyout mode it does have an og starlight as well and then you have other nice mid-max options for this card. Some of the targets include Nts, which does have a 25th anniversary rare that's low on quantities. You have Cybers, the Save Worm, also in the tens as a foil upgrade with not the most quantities i think 50 something right now even though it's come down in price so be aware this is also a decent option 
I don't love playing Bricks in the main fourth, but do remember that the Collector Rare Evil Twins, Kisi Kill, and Leela also got bought out specifically for this card. And here, if you want to pause real quick, are pretty much every single option for Ultimate Slay that you're probably thinking about within this metagame, thanks to the Discord. Artifact Lancia Quarter Century Secret Rare has also been going up. I think I covered it when it first started to go back upwards, and it's around $16 right Right now as an option in the metagame. Also, Lightning Storm Quarter Century Secret Rare going back up and down in quantities. Uh, I think the actual Maven's Secret Rare Pharaoh Rare is also pretty good, but here we go with this one around $30 to $32 very quickly. And I wanted to talk about Battles of Legend because I clicked this and it is a little bit disparaging to see this card, which I really hope gets a reprint, but I have a feeling it won't for a long time. The lowest copy is from somebody with 17 sales, around 850. I don't necessarily distrust that copy. However, the next lowest are around 1,000, with only four listers in this entire range up to 1,100. This is wild. Magia's... <laughs> just crazy to me. Like, you do see deals pop up. Let's actually see if this uh, PSA 8. Interesting. The slab brought its price down. You probably should have just recracked that, right? Like, uh, I'm not crazy. But yeah, 920, 800. Uh, they have actually been selling somewhat high among these deal cells that do happen with tons in the 8 to 900 range. And now, they're unfortunately almost gone. Actually, before we talk Retro Pack, there is more to cover in the battles besides Magia, the cover card. Uh, U-Bell's actually down over time, despite being one of the top decks. A lot of people are expecting certain shifts to happen, I guess, with the new set. But I still think U-Bell will be very, very viable. Uh, Gigantic Sprite, quarter Century Secret Rare Double Down Buyout, same with Sprite Sprint and Winged Karibo Level 6. So a lot of people have been targeting cards. We already covered Decatron throughout here, and quantities continue to go down. Battles, it's... Not the model that I love seeing a quarter century secret rare locked in here, but in addition to a meta impacting card and all the other collectible 25ths that are actually hard to pull, this set is doing very well for itself. Retro Pack has had its third restocking reported by a lot of people at their targets, and the set just becomes more and more available to where even the top end is coming down past what I thought. I thought this would bottom line at maybe 55 to 50 lowest, but the Harpy is now hitting hitting towards 46, 47, and continuing to trend down. I think a lot of people that are casual are going to end up selling theirs, and uh, it is a casual set at its core. That's kind of the purpose of it, but I do think singles for this will be relatively cheap. We don't know how much of it was printed, and it continues to be put and posted around. Remember those six different Sangam buyouts we covered? Nice to see this at $3 and under for a great version. Why the Destruction singles aren't getting listed the same despite theirs being out? I think that's because we only have the four-pack blisters and they're not being as masked open. They're kind of sitting on shelves a little more. I'm seeing some Reddit posts about them being opened here and there and some tweets about it. But overall, I feel like this is way less popular in the States and we don't even have these 12-count boxes. These are being listed from people who have shipped them from overseas. I am seeing people holding them in the Facebook groups, though, bailing on them to where they're offering them as low as $700 a case if you're buying multiple cases. I see Infinite Forbidden is kind of just going up and down a little bit at a time. Fiend Smith Engraver was down to 92, now it's around 95. There's nothing really too crazy to uh, report in here, like you do have the Memogools that we covered. Uh, Light and Darkness, the Quarter Century Secret Rare, got a buyout a bit ago. It's chilling back out. And then you have the White Forest card still doing about the same for themselves. While I do think the Mulch Army, though, will be played in tandem with the new one it's still 
chilling out at around 50 when it had just bumped up to 55. Trap Stun is up. This is, I think, specifically for Edison for the Secret Rare, as well as Divine Dragon Knight Felgrand for Hat. Uh, it's interesting to see how hard the Ultimate Rare has been bought out to where it's surpassing the Ghost in certain aspects, and every single version of it is up. Also for Hat, the Sylvans that don't have reprints after reprints are getting bought out, like Hermitry here, as well as Martial Leaf, as people want access to Hat decks, and it does make sense to have an Xyz era pass format than a Synchro era one because again for having Xyz it does have the advantage that Zexel was one of the last anime to actually get a ton of people into the game those who were kids then are growing up and are wanting to get back to the past a bit and Xyz are their youth not the blue eyes white dragon ancient forest is for edison as well when you activate this card change any defense position monster to face up attack position flip effects are not activated at this time if a monster attacks destroy it this super rare has been bought out to ridiculous proportions i actually have not seen what the lowest are unlimbs look like they're at 19 which first edition at 21 but zero percent feedback and then 20 three uh ancient forest does that actually have another printing for ist uh i don't know that it does yeah only the one printing that's kind of wild leo keeper of the sacred tree is for hat i believe uh, i think it has to be right because of when it was printed the super rare is what is getting bought out for this card and going up in price and then finally just more versus cards that the tens missed uh, we have Soul Doctor Mad Love getting bought out and going up as well as Chitara, wink wink, uh, the boomers, right? But Vanquish Soul Pantera is also going up in price and down in quantity since it missed the 10. I don't think Versus is going to be taking over again unless they got some extra crazy legacy support that I'm not aware of, but the people are going for those. Thanks for watching today's Market Watch. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the conversations. And I know this one ran a bit long. Tomorrow's video might be longer because of how many different foils we're freaking comparing.